Would you ditch the beauty industry for vegetable farming? Well, that's exactly what one woman in Kiambu County did and has never looked back. Hope Wanjiro is one of the young farmers growing crops under the hydroponic system. And together with her group, they have managed to secure contracts with large firms supplying them with lettuce and tomatoes every season. Dennis Etienne has more on this week's Smart Farm. Four years ago, Hope Wanjiro was one of the best hairstylists in Kikuyu town. Then, it was a promising trade for her. That was until she stumbled upon hydroponics agriculture. Before I started farming, I was uh, doing hairdressing. And uh, once I became a parent, I was like, I'm not getting enough to support my children. This village in Kikuyu town, Kiambu County, is where Hope and five other colleagues teamed up to set up their hydroponics venture. It is a method of growing fruits and vegetables using mineral nutrient solutions in water without the use of soil. In this setup, Hope and her group own two greenhouses. From the nursery, these heads of lettuce are placed on these converted gutters where they will grow to market size after three months. The group also grows tomatoes on a second greenhouse it owns. To begin their venture, they enrolled for a youth empowerment program sponsored by a local bank and were required to take up a loan. For guys growing tomatoes, we, were, we are required to take a loan of 750000 and for lettuce, it was a little more, it was 950000 The money basically was used to lease the land and uh, part of the money was used for insurance and paying for consultation. Uh, the construction of the structures, facilitation, things like water, electricity, and labor. The lettuce represents their best performing crop. What you need uh, is pumice. That's volcanic rocks. So, yeah, in debris form. It's just a media to hold the plants in. Yeah, so they can be held in place. And we also mix with uh, something called cocoa pit. Cocoa pit is gotten from coconut. Yeah, you just crush some coconuts. So we mix with the, with the pumice. Why we use cocoa pit? Because it retains water a little longer than the pumice. Having greater control over the growing conditions of the crops is perhaps one of the major factors that attracted hope to hydroponics farming. You just open the valve, they feed. The greenhouse is constructed in a slanting mode. Yeah, so the water flows back to the reservoir. Then all you need is to pump it back up. Yeah, and you repeat the cycle three times a day. Hope and her team run the greenhouses all year round, giving them a steady flow of income thanks to contracts with notable farms. Sometimes uh, we harvest according to the demand, so it can go from three days after every three days to after every one week. Okay, this structure alone is holding a thousand heads. So, yeah, a uh, thousand heads and they go for 330 shillings per kg. Yeah, so uh, in a month you can make close, up close to a quarter million. Yes. Okay, before we started farming, we had already signed a contract with Tuskies. Yeah, so we were sure of market and uh, the San Valencia group of hotels. But the hydroponics venture has its own share of challenges that people have not really yet accepted hydroponics. Yeah, they think, uh, yeah, they think it's about chemicals and GMOs, which is really not the truth. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.